With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? In the above question, angular displacement of the disc in the first two seconds will be in radian. We need to tell the value. Okay. So what was the question? Question was that there was a disc and a tangential force along the circumference was applied. Okay. What was the force value? Force value was given as to be uh, 10 Newton. Okay. And the radius of the disc was given as to be uh, 0.5 meter. And moment of inertia value was given as to be 2 kg meter square. Okay. So it was rotated. Now what we need to find? We need to find and also it was given that ang initial angular velocity omega naught was given as to be 0. Initial angular velocity. Now we need to find in the first two seconds. What is the angular displacement? Okay. How can we get the value of the angular displacement if we apply our uh, equation of rotational motion? So, we can say that our theta would be equals to omega naught into t plus half alpha into t square. So, it is just similar to this equation s equals to ut plus half e t square. So, this equation is in the linear motion, this is in the angular motion. Now, what is just uh, unknown quantity? Alpha is the unknown quantity. How can we get the value of alpha? So, we know that the net torque which is applied net torque would be equals to i into alpha or we can say that our alpha would be equals to what it would be tau net divided by moment of inertia value so what would be the value of the tau net so this force is applied along the circumference okay so what is the torque which is created torque is basically force multiplied by the perpendicular distance so what is the perpendicular distance it is equals to 0.5 the radius so torque value would be 10 into 0.5 so we put the value of torque as 10 into 0.5 and this value of uh, this i is given as to be i value is given as to be 2 so we put the value of 2 here so this is kg meter meter square and not per meter so it is kg meter square okay now if we check this then alpha would turn out to be from this equation it would be 5 upon 2 that means 2.5 and unit would be radian per second square now we can put the value here so our theta would be theta would be omega naught into t is starting uh, velocity is 0 angular velocity plus half into 2.5 into what is the time time is given as to be 2 second so 2 square would be equals to 4 so if we solve this what would be our answer it would be 5 radian so 5 radian is our answer for angular displacement so which is the correct option so correct option would be 5 radian b is the correct option hope you understood this solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today